We count pens like 1本, 2本, 3本. Do you know how to count all the other things like birds, animals, vehicles, and all those things in Japanese? Let's find out. What's up, Japan enthusiasts? Minasan konnichiwa, I'm Max. Welcome back to my channel where we dive into the world of Nihongo and Japanese culture. So today's topic is Japanese counters. All right, so if you are starting to learn Japanese, you might not know this, but if you are already learning Japanese, you probably know that Japanese has so many different words to count different kinds of things. Well, I won't be able to introduce every single one of the counters in Japanese in this video, but I'm gonna try to go through a lot of them. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing first, the most typical, most general counter we use in Japanese when we count basically anything. That is tsu, tsu, hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu, yotsu, itsutsu, mutsu, nanatsu, yatsu, kokonotsu. After kokonotsu, after nine, you can't really use tsu anymore. If what you're counting is more than ten of them, you might not be able to use this, but tsu you can use this for almost anything. So for example, even if you don't know all the other uh, counters that I'm gonna show you in this video, you can still just stick with tsu. All right, so tsu was the most general counter. The second most general counter is ko. Ko. Ikko, nikko, sanko, yonko, goko, rokko, nanako, hachiko, kyuko, jukko. 11個12個13個15個15個16個17個18個19個20個 So all the other counters that I'm gonna show you except for 2 you can use it with any number, alright? Any number. So ko is usually used with smaller objects. If you have an eraser, then that's 消しゴム 1個 If you have 3 erasers, then 消しゴム 3個 or like I said Tsu is super general, so you can use tsu for erasers too. So, keshigomu hitotsu, keshigomu mitsu. But as you might have already noticed, the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, how we read the numbers change depending on the counter that you use. So, usually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But when you use 2, that's gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, learn and you just have to be used to saying the numbers depending on the counter that you use. So the next one is mai. Mai. Mai is used for flat and thin things like paper and leaves and stuff. I just found a fallen leaf. Ochiba, ichi mai. Ni mai, san mai, yon mai. Mai, flat and thin things. Mai, one mai, two mai, three mai, four mai, five mai, six mai, seven mai, eight mai, nine mai, ten mai. So how you say the numbers doesn't change with mai. And the next one is hon. Hon. At the beginning of this video, I counted my pens. Hon is used for thin and long objects like pens. Pencils, trees, and all these things that are long and thin. Ippon, Ippon, not Ichihon. Ippon, Nihon, Sanbon, and Yonhon. Oh, fingers are Hon too. Ippon, Nihon, Sanbon, Yonhon, Gohon, Loppon, Nanahon, Hapon, Kyuhon, Jippon. Hon is long and thin objects. Alright, the next one is Satsu. Satsu. So, satsu is used for books. When you count books, it's ip satsu, ni satsu, san satsu, yon satsu, go satsu, rok satsu, nana satsu, hachi satsu, kyu satsu, jus satsu, juichi satsu, juni satsu, ju san satsu, ju yon satsu, ju wa satsu, ju satsu. Satsu is for 
books. And the next one is Ning. Ning. So Ning is for counting people. But be careful, it's not all Ning. Ichi Ning doesn't exist. We say Hitori when you count one person. Hitori. And Ni Ning doesn't really exist either. When you count two people, it's Futari. Futari. And then after three people, that's Ning. San Ning, Yo Ning, Go Ning, Lok Ning, Nan Ning, Hat Ning, Kyu Ning, Ju Ning, Hyak Ning, Sen Ning, Ichi Man Ning, Hyak Man Ning, Go Sen Man Ning, Go Ok Ning. Just be careful that one person and two people are Hitori and Futari. And after three, after three, it's San Ning, Yo Ning, Go Ning, Lok Ning. Like normal, okay? That's Ning for people. And the next one is Hiki. Hiki. Hiki is used for smaller animals, smaller animals like mice, dogs, and cats. So when you count cats, neko ga ipiki, nihiki, sanbiki, yon hiki, go hiki, ro piki, nara hiki, hachi hiki, kyu hiki, jupiki. It's kind of like hon. When you count long thin objects, you say ipon, nihon, sanbon, yon hon, go hon, ro pon, nara hon, hachi hon, kyu hon, jup. Pong. And hiki acts kind of the same way. So, i piki, ni hiki, san biki, yon hiki, go hiki, ro piki, nana hiki, hachi hiki, kyu hiki, ju piki. So, I said that hiki is for smaller animals, but what about like big animals like lions, elephants, giraffes? We count them with to. To. So, we use to for larger. Animals, itto, nito, santo, yonto, goto, lokuto, nanato, hachito, kyuto, jutto. So, for like medium sized animals, I think some of them are hiki and some of them are to. So, some people might count this specific animal, itto, nito, santo, but others might count them, ipiki, nihiki, sanbiki, yon hiki, depending on how they see them. But, not all the animals can be counted with hiki or to. So the special animals are birds. Birds are not hiki or to. We use wa. Wa. For birds. When you count crows, karasu ga ichi wa, ni wa, san wa, yon wa, go wa, roku wa, nara wa, hachi wa, kyu wa, ju wa. So what's interesting is that even though rabbits are not birds, we use wa for rabbits too. But I think you, if you, even if you uh, count rabbits with hiki, that makes sense. The next one is dai. Dai. So we use dai for large objects, specifically, usually machines. Cars. Cars are ichi dai, ni dai, san dai, yon dai, go dai, roku dai, nana dai, hachi dai, kyu dai, ju dai. So actually phones. Phones, even though these are not really large, because these are machines, we use dai. But I guess phones used to be bigger machines. And let's move on to clothes, alright? So, chak, chak, it chak, ni chak, san chak, yon chak, go chak, rok chak, nana chak, hat chak, kyu chak, ju chak. So, chak is usually used to count clothes. This is it chak, but also these are thin and flat so it could be ichimai too i personally use mai for these sweaters and t-shirts but when i count these bigger jackets maybe these are chaku too not mai because these are kind of thicker thicker than normal t-shirts or uh, sweaters right so these are kind of vague but that's how we count things so and footwear we use soku we use soku not chaku or my a pair of shoes is isoku pair of shoes is isoku so isoku nisoku sansoku yonsoku gosoku is one pair of shoes two pairs of shoes three pairs of shoes all right the next one is hai 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 is a counter too so hai is used for liquids in a glass or a cup one cup of tea is ocha 1 
6杯7杯8杯9杯10杯 If you are specifically talking about a glass of tea then it's お茶をグラス1杯 So if you want a glass of tea then you can say お茶をグラス1杯ください Or グラス1杯のお茶をください If you, it's in a cup コップ1杯コップ2杯コップ3杯 So let's move on to How to count time and nichi. Nichi. Nichi is for days, but this is pretty tricky like hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu. Ichi, nichi, ichi, nichi. Oh, that's normal. Na ni nichi. It's futsuka, futsuka, mika, yoka, itsuka, muika, nanoka, yoka, kokonoka, toka. So, 1日、2日、3日、4日、5日、6日、7日、8日、9日、10日。It's really confusing, but you just gotta remember, you just gotta memorize this. But what you have to be careful is when you talk about like January 1st, February 1st, March 1st, the first day of the month. So, for example, January, 1月1日 Yeah, we, we all understand, we all understand, but we native Japanese speakers say, 1月1日2月1日3月1日1日 is the first day of the month. There are two more counters that I want to show you. One is, 月月 ka ka So, kagetsu is used when you count months. Count months. When you count months as period of time for three months, for five months, in three months, in ten months, then you use kagetsu. i k a g e t s u ni k a g e t s u san k a g e t s u yon k a g e t s u go k a g e t s u lok k a g e t s u nana k a g e t s u hach k a g e t s u q k a g e t s u So that's how you count months. And finally, the last one. The last one is Kai. Kai. Kai is used when you talk about the number of times that something has been done. So, for example, if you want to say, I've been to Tokyo once, I've been to Tokyo twice, I've been to Tokyo three times, the times. Is Kai. Tokyo ni i k k a i i t t a k o t o g a r i m a s Tokyo ni nikai i t t a k o t o g a r i m a s Sankai, Yonkai, Gokai, Lokai, Nanakai, Hachkai, Kyukai, Jukai. That's how you use Kai. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Did you know all the counters that I showed you today? And did you know how to actually count them? Like it Instead of These ones are pretty commonly used in daily conversations. There are, of course, way more counters in Japanese, but for now, for now, just learn all the ones that I showed you in this video. And if you like this video, please hit the like and please leave a comment below what you thought about the video or If you know any other counters, please let me know. Please let us all know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Max Japanese, please subscribe and see you in the next one.